Hello colleagues, this is Professor Dr. Samin Afzal Junejo from Afzal Eye Clinic, Hyderabad, in Pakistan. Dear colleagues, today I will show you uh, my most favorite technique of echoemulsification uh, under high vacuum and applying least minimum FECO energy always when the FECO tip is very badly engaged. And in this surgery, throughout the procedure, I have set the FECO power at 40, vacuum at 550 uh, with li linear application and the flow rate is 40. Through the surgical numbers, anti-clockwise, round, curvilinear, anterior, capsular axis is being done with needle cystotome. I always have my surgical approach for any intraocular surgery through surgical limbus because surgical limbus is almost 2 millimeters, 1 to 2 millimeters outside the anatomical limbus and saves the shawl base line and also the corneal endothelium normal contour through the cystotome port the methyl cellulose has been injected to build up the intraocular pressure for the clear corneal surgical limbal two step incision with diamond knife the diamond knife used in this case is 2.75 millimeters in diameter and in this case i will also make two uh, opposite side ports because the patient has the astigmatism which is more at the plus side vertically two side ports are created Side ports are very important because they help in the irrigation and aspiration uh, step to remove the visco, uh, to remove the uh, cortical matter from the 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock position and also they neutralize the astigmatism against the rule. These incisions are called, these two side port incisions are called, the, in other words, the relaxing incisions, which neutralize or negate the astigmatism against the rule. After doing the hydro dissection and delinea delineation, we will start our FACO procedure. FACO tip is injected. A vertical trench is formed in the middle applying a linear FECO and I will try to do this FECO through equator. Now this is equator which is very clearly visible. Lens is slightly pushed at 6 o'clock downwards and equator is clearly approached. And I always do the FECO mostly through the equatorial approach and now at different sides of the equator I am applying the FECO tip under high vacuum. No any ultrasonic energy is released in this case. Keep on cutting and crunching the nuclear fragments with the chopper and taking it up, removing out under high vacuum of 550. The FECO machine which I usually use 
is Catrex EZ, which is I think the best machine ever I have used in my life. This statement does not contain any financial interest. This is all my personal experience with Catrex EZ FECO machine by OptiSurge. Very decent fluidics, no surge, deep entry chamber is obtained along with a cool FECO without injuring the corneal endothelium. The Catrex EZ machine is really a remarkable machine for this purpose. Now you can see that as usual I am using the two-way irrigation and aspiration Simcoe cannula in presence of a OVD dispersive to remove the cortex. A side port is used as I told you before it is very instrumental for the removal of cortical matter from the 12 o'clock position or from the vertical quadrants of the eyeball. Viscoelastic is completely injected, filled the bag, deepened the anterior chamber, lubricating the endothelium of the cornea as well and provide, providing a very good room for the intraocular lens to be implanted now. We should always be very cautious about the direction of the FACO tip, should always be at one side laterally. The bevel should be at one side whether it is on the right side or it is on the left side. So the bevel should be at the side. So that the whatever the FECO energy we apply should not harm the corneal endothelium directly. A one piece hydrophobic intraocular lens is being very slowly and gradually released into the bag. This intraocular lens has got a very good memories as you can see that it is by itself getting fixation exactly into the bag. And now we will remove the viscoelastic solution from the front and behind the intraocular lens optic and at the same time we will also give best possible central position to the intraocular lens which is implanted into the bag. The lens is slightly tilted into the bag, irrigated and the viscoelastic solution which was trapped behind the lens optic is removed, irrigated. So in this case my total FECO energy applied up till the end of the procedure is only 2 seconds while the rest of the work has been done on high vacuum. And now the cocktail intracameral injection is being given 
to construct the pupil to give, provide a very good cover of antibiotic and a bit steroid. Corneal stromal hydration is performed to seal the corneal incisions and the side ports as well and as we can see that the anterior chamber is quite well formed without any wrinkles in the corneal endothelium and the posterior capsule as well. My dear colleagues, if you like this video, please subscribe my channel, like it and push the bell button so that you can receive more interesting cases. Thank you very much.